This is Jasmine of thejazztalk.com and I am back again with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I transform this unit that I've had for a while. Um, it's about 14 to 16 inches and it's a beauty supply store wig. Um, I'm going to transform it into a medium length cut. So I wanted something different and for fall. And I'm going to show you guys how I achieve that with hair scissors and also a Remington curling wand. Um, I actually don't use the wand in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys that that's what I use to curl and style the hair. And it's already pre, um, as you can, not pre-curled, but the hair is already wavy, so I didn't really have to add much of a defined curl to it. So as you can see here, I am now brushing my hair after spraying water into the unit. And what this does is helps to create an easy way for me to cut the hair. So I'm just making sure I brush through all the knots because this hair gets tangled very easily. And yeah, that's it. Let's start cutting. Oh, actually I'm brushing again. <laughs> I'm brushing this piece here and I'm going to separate the hair into sections so that it makes it easier for me to cut the hair. So you'll see me now begin to braid down um, the right side and then I'm going to get started on the other side. On the other side, hello from the other side. Let me stop playing. So now I'm just spraying the hair again with water and brushing it with my little wig brush and making sure that everything is pretty much neat and, you know, ready for me to get it cut, cut, cut it, cut it. And that's where I'm going to be cutting it at. So I'm using my hair scissors and I'm just going to gently, almost like um, comb down. I was going to say rig, but it literally is just combing down to get the desired effect that you want. And I love these hair scissors because they really make it easy to get a nice um, layered look for your hairstyles without me having to like go through cutting in a certain way. Um, it, it gives the desired effect that you want very easily with just, as you can see, the, a very swift movement of your hand. So I'm just going to continue to show you guys how it looks there. And now I'm braiding the other side. And I'm going to cut it with the shears again. Well, not shears, but with this hair, <laughs> with the hair scissors. So you'll see me, sorry you guys can't see the actual comb and what I'm doing, but I'm just doing the exact same thing I did to the other side. And yeah, this is pretty much the finished cut. And I do at the end go back in and cut more just to even everything out off camera. I'm doing the top pieces. And spin around, girl, spin around. Showing you guys what the back look like. looks like. And now I'm doing the front. So for whatever reason, the scissors, the sheer, um, I keep saying sheer, excuse me. The hair scissors was not cutting through the top part. So I just ended up using scissors instead. And I held it at an angle to give me the desired effect that I wanted for a front bang. And this is just a little replay for you guys of the hair. I love it. And as you can see, the curls actually, the not the curls, the waves popped more um, since the hair was cut shorter. So that is pretty much it. Very simple, just using hair scissors, um, another regular pair of scissors, and some water on a brush, guys. Let me know what you think. 